Hi everyone, it's day four of the challenge. We're almost halfway. Today we're moving up to the fourth limb of yoga, which is pranayama, which translates to breath work or breathing control. First, we're gonna talk about alignment in our seated position. I encourage you to give the seated meditation a try. You can bring your back to a wall or even sit in a chair but I'm gonna show you how to use a prop underneath the sits bones to help maintain your straight spine and to make space for the breath. So go ahead and grab your prop, whether it's a folded blanket, a cushion, a pillow, maybe a block. If you're using a block, you can also have a blanket over top of it just to soften it up. Lift your hips onto the edge of your prop so that the front of the hips, the sits bones, reach forward. We're focusing on tilting the pelvis forward. If the hips are completely on the prop, then we're not really affecting the pelvis at all, which is gonna affect the rest of the spine. So shift the hips forward a little bit, and then cross the legs. So notice how this pelvic tilt already is lengthening the front body a little bit and making space for the breath, as opposed to rounding in the spine, which crunches up the belly, and the breath has nowhere to go. If you notice yourself rounding already, can you draw the shoulders back, pull the heart space forward, tilting the pelvis forward, lift the crown of your head. With the hands on the knees, we'll take some seated cat cows. So as you breathe in, start to arch your back, draw your chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round and lean back, tuck your chin into your chest. Good, inhale, again, draw the heart space forward, lift your chin. Exhale, rounding into that seated cat. One more, inhale, shift forward, seated cow. And exhale, rounding in. Good, inhale, stack the spine, shoulders over the hips. Take a moment, reach the arms all the way up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, stretch up and over to the right. Right fingertips come down, deep left side body stretch. Maybe bending into this bottom elbow. Keep the sits bones rooted down here. Good. As you breathe in, windmill the arms up and come over to the left. Left fingertips plant. Right side body opens up. Again, maybe the bottom elbow wants to bend. Inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, release the hands back into your lap. Drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. Let the left shoulder feel heavy. Good. Draw your chin to your chest. Swing your head slowly over so that your left ear reaches for your left shoulder. Good. Now take a few more rounds, swinging the head slowly back and forth. Maybe closing the eyes, option to make it a little bit more intuitive, free movement, moving the spine as well. And then coming back to center once you feel evened out. Shift your hips to the edge of that prop so the pelvis is tilting forward, making space in the belly for the breath. Lift the heart space, lift the crown of your head. Create one long line of energy along the length of the spine. Let it start to close the eyes. Just let the hands rest in your lap, soften the shoulders. Start to check in with the physical body Breathing deeply, doing a body scan. Are there any areas of tension or resistance in the body? Any tightness in the muscles that you can let go of? Notice where your body is connected to the earth. Let yourself root down in those areas the size of the legs, the tops of the feet, root down through the hips on your block. Now 
Now start to move into the mental body and just taking inventory of any thoughts that are floating around in your mind. Can you allow the thoughts to come and go as easily as the breath? Moving a step further, check in with the emotional body. Can you identify any emotions you're feeling on your mat right now? Maybe noticing the emotions you may have brought to your mat today. One step further, we'll check in with the energetic body. Notice the frequency, the energy that you're showing up with today, the vibration that is filling up your entire being. Now start to think about uniting all of those bodies, all of those parts of ourselves and come all the way back down into the physical body. I'll be guiding you into a Nadi Shodhana, an alternate nostril breathing technique. So start by bringing your right hand in front of your face. We're gonna bring the peace fingers and let them rest at the third eye center in between the brows. Bring your thumb onto your right nostril. We're gonna close off that right nostril. Take a slow breath in through the left nostril. At the top, we'll switch. Release the right, close the left nostril and then exhale out the right side. Inhale back through the right. Switch, close the right, open the left, exhale down the left nostril. Inhale back through the left. Switch, exhale out through the right. Inhale back through the right. Switch. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Switch. Exhale right. Inhale right. Switch. Exhale left. Inhale left, switch, exhale right, inhale right, switch, exhale left, inhale left, switch, exhale right, inhale right, Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. One more round. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. After that exhale, release your right hand back into your lap. Let the breath flow in and out of the nose at a natural pace. Notice the effects of that breathing technique on the body. Any changes to the physical body 
perhaps the mental body is a little bit more still. The emotional body is more balanced. The energetic body is more at peace. Unite the palms together at heart center. And then bring your thumbs up to your third eye center. And together we bow to close out. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. As you lift up, keep the eyes closed for a moment. Rub the palms together, creating friction, building heat between the palms. And then once those palms feel warm, cup the hands around the eyes. Feel that energy from the palms transferring into the eye sockets. Start to blink the eyes open slowly. And then when you feel ready, release your hands from your eyes. Thank you all so much.